Hello everyone welcome to Nilanjana's exclusive English lessons and in this video we are going to discuss the poem a work of artifice by Marge Pearson and uh, without wasting much time i know all of you are having doubts with this poem it's a new syllabus i know all of you are exposed to a completely new syllabus especially students of grade 9 but yes this poem is also there in other curriculum like even in ba part 1 and even in some ib students even they needed help with this poem so i hope i am able to help you with my explanation all right so this poem talks about a bonsai tree now what is a bonsai tree it is a popular japanese gardening technique which involves reducing the size of tree that can be grown in a pot so you can consider it to be a form of art i'm sure most of you must have seen a bonsai tree in um, you know many many of us keep such trees in our living room because it enhances the beauty of the house beauty of the room you can consider it as a part of the interior decoration so in this poem we have a bonsai tree which is grown in an attractive pot and the credit of growing this bonsai tree goes to the gardener so apparently the poem may seem to be simple but it's not that because there are many complex themes which are there in the poem the bonsai tree in the attractive pot could have grown 80 feet tall so what does the gardener tell the gardener tells that the bonsai tree is grown in an attractive pot so it looks very beautiful and attractive and it is kept in a pot and that is where it grows but the tree could have grown 80 feet tall that means the tree this is the uh original potential of the tree that it could have grown 80 feet tall grown to its full size and of course grown to its full potential on the side of a mountain so this is where the tree could have grown on a mountain side till split by lightning that means this would have been the destiny of the tree that once it grows to its full size probably it would have been cut back when it would be split by lightning so this is what the gardener is trying to say but a gardener carefully pruned it but what a gardener has done it has carefully cut its branches reduced its size and now it is just 9 inches high so in some way the gardener is trying to say that i have saved you i have given you a better place how i have carefully pruned your branches i have made you grow hardly 9 inches high and this is a better place for you this is a better life for you otherwise you could have grown 80 feet tall yes you could have grown to your full size but ultimately you would be again cut back by lightning so in some way i have done a good job every day as he whittles back the branches now what is the meaning of the word whittle the word whittle means when you make something shorter when you make something shorter and uh, uh, how how do you do it with the help of some cutting instrument so i'll just write down the meanings for you if you all are carrying a notepad and a pen make sure you write down the meanings okay so this is the meaning of the word whittles that means this is how the gardener cuts back the branches with the help of, of certain tools and instruments Okay yes my dear students till this point of time if you found this video helpful you know what i'm going to ask from all of you your support your motivation please go and subscribe to the channel and help me reach 1000 subscribers as soon as possible there are many videos which i plan to make and i'm i can guarantee you that i will not let any kind of doubt come to your mind with the new syllabus i will clarify each and every doubt of yours give you line by line explanation of all the text that's my promise from my end because my mission is to help students so that they can get good marks so a little bit of motivation from all of you would really go a long way so please go ahead and like this video if you found it helpful if you think that yes this is going to be easy for me and please subscribe to the channel okay all right uh yes let's get back every day as he whittles back the branches the gardener croons so the gardener what does he do? he does on a daily basis he croons he whittles back he prunes the he clips the branches he cuts the branches he reduces the tree to its limited size 
and this is an everyday task which he does on a daily basis now why do you think the gardener does this work is it just because it wants to save the tree and so that it doesn't get cut back by lightning yes we are going to understand that a little later so what does he say now it is your nature to be small and cozy domestic and weak so this is what he tells the tree that it is your nature this is the way you have been made to be small to be limited in size to be cozy now the word cozy means comfortable so i have given you a comfortable place so what is the comfortable place i have given you i have given you a pot a very small place where you would grow and this is a cozy place for you and it is your nature to be domestic domestic means what when you stay at home when you are homely when you are not allowed to grow and expand your wings so this is how you have been made this is like you know telling the tree that it's beyond your nature you are not allowed to grow to your full potential you are not allowed to explore rather you are uh, you are suited for this limited life which i have given you because you are domestic and you are also weak so the gardener tells that you are weak you don't have the strength and then again he tells how lucky little tree how fortunate you are so the gardener thinks that the tree is really fortunate to grow under his care again it's very ironical is the tree really fortunate we are going to understand that how lucky little tree to have a pot to grow in you are so lucky to have a pot to grow in and i have given you that place you could have been strong but it is good that now you know your potentials are limited it's restricted and this is your nature it is your nature to be small and helpless and at the same time you are fortunate because you have a safe place to grow which is the safe place the pot that the tree has to grow with living creatures one must begin very early to dwarf their growth again dwarf the word dwarf their growth means stunted growth growth which is not uh, you know allowed to in its full size when you purposely stop the growth of something so here he tells that with living creatures one must begin very early one must start early means one must take these steps from the very beginning to control the growth so what is the what are the ways that the growth can be controlled the bound feet the crippled brain what is the meaning of the word bound feet now bound feet refers to an old chinese custom so according to this old chinese custom the feet of young girls would be bound because that would not let the feet grow and it would be a symbol of feminine beauty so you have very delicate small feet and that stands for feminine beauty so this refers to this old chinese custom where the feet of young girls would be bound so that they retain its beauty so here the comparison means that the tree is again not allowed to grow the feet is not allowed to expand so that it remains beautiful forcefully it is made to be like this and at the same time the crippled brain now what does this mean crippled brain again refers to when you are not allowed to develop your independent thoughts so the gardener doesn't allow the tree to have its own independent thoughts all right so a, a brain which lacks intelligence a brain which lacks uh, you know your own thoughts the hair in curlers the hair in curlers so what does this mean this means that when people curl why do people curl hair especially girls why do they curl their hair so that they look beautiful it's one of the ways to enhance your beauty you look beautiful and you look nice when you you know do these kind of things to make you look more feminine and beautiful so this is what we need to do we need to begin very early if you want to stunt somebody's growth you need to bind the feet 
you need to make sure that the brain remains crippled and at the same time the hair is curled so that it makes you look beautiful forcefully somebody makes you look beautiful and you remain just an object of beauty where you are not allowed to have your own independent thoughts where you don't have your freedom the very important theme of the poem is freedom where you're not allowed to grow and have your own freedom the hands you love to touch now the last two lines of the poem what does this mean that the hands the hands refers to how women are supposed now how the tree is supposed to treat the gardener not assault not you know attack or assault the hands in any way because these are the hands that feed the tree the last two lines of the poem the hands you love to touch this means how the tree is supposed to treat the gardener not assault or you know attack the hand in any way that feeds it because the it is the hands of the gardener which is basically feeding the tree in one way or the other so you are supposed to treat that hand with care and nurture the hand as well so this is how the tree is supposed to behave and this is how the gardener keeps it controlled restricted and limited this was the apparent meaning of the poem so i hope it is clear but now let us understand the theme behind the poem now here the poem strongly talks about gender inequality this is one of the primary themes of the poem the bonsai tree is not just a tree but it stands for the women the women who remain oppressed the women those who have to live under societal pressures where they are supposed to behave in a certain way where they are supposed to look in a certain way especially beautiful and it is the men the patriarchal system who decide how a woman should behave or how a woman should look women are treated just like a bonsai tree which are used only for decoration this is what the poet wanted to convey through this poem so the theme of the poem if you have to understand it's a theme where somebody is not allowed to grow naturally and somebody's growth is restricted and especially how they are oppressed how a woman is supposed to be she is supposed to be helpless she is supposed to be weak and she is supposed to be just an object of beauty and the gardener or the uh, the gardener in her life it could be her husband it could be her lover or it could be anybody he feels that he has given the the women a, a nice and comfortable place at home so he is trying to basically be little the women he is trying to look down upon the women and make her feel that this is your place and this is how you should be and i would always start early to dwarf your growth to stunt your growth from the very beginning your wings should be clipped your feet should be bound your brain should be crippled you are not allowed to have your own individual thoughts you're supposed to think in the way i ask you to think you're supposed to look beautiful for others an object of admiration and beauty and you are supposed to also not assault or attack the hands that feed you the hands you love to touch all right so my dear students this is the meaning of the poem and as you can see that the poem doesn't have any rhyme scheme it's written in free verse so i hope all of you understand what is free verse right a free verse is a poem where you don't have any specific rhyme scheme the poem uh, if you understand the poem as i have said that there is also a reference to our pop, uh, chinese culture especially with the use of bound feet but also the gardener symbolizes man and the bonsai tree symbolizes woman in this poem we come across the trickery and the coaxing of a gardener how a gardener cunningly cuts the tree so that he can use it for his own benefit and he can control its growth the main figure of speech in this poem is metaphor because if you see that the bonsai tree actually stands for the oppressed in this case the oppressed are the women in the society
I hope that you have understood the poem. And in case if you have any doubts, uh, of course, you can write it in the comments. I will be glad to help you. And yes, this poem somebody had requested. And it is on that um, request. I have explained this poem for all of you. And uh, at the same time, those who are having doubts with Julius Caesar, I have already shared the video of Act 1, Scene 1, line by line explanation. So if you feel that you need to go and check the explanation, you need more clarification, you can always go and uh, check the video. I have shared the link in the description box. And uh, yes, uh, it's the beginning of a new academic year. So I wish you all the best. I hope your studies are going well. Do not get uh, demotivated because there's a lot to do. You know that there's a lot of syllabus that has to be completed. And yes, uh, it's a completely new syllabus also for ICC 2025. Uh, my dear students, please follow this channel because I'm going to give you fresh and accurate content in this channel where you can follow and give your exams. You don't need to go anywhere else. And uh, if you have any doubts, if you have any requests, just let me know in the comments. All right. Thank you so much for joining in and have a nice day. Bye-bye.